How's it going, folks? t -Biz here. Just wanted to make a little short video on uh, this Masters of the Universe Castle Grayskull from Mega Constructs. Uh, it's, yeah, it's crazy. Pro Builder, 3,508 pieces. It's crazy. I've been wanting this for quite some time. I do have a couple of vintage Grayskulls and a little bit of some remnants of a beat-up vintage box. I wouldn't mind just for the collection just to have like a sealed vintage Motu uh, Grayskull. And I wouldn't mind the classics, but I sold all my classics. It would be... Really cool to have the Classics Grey Skull, but I doubt that'll happen anytime soon. Um, but yeah, I wanted to check this guy out. I got it for about, I think it was 177 or 174 on uh, Walmart.com. And I apologize for the glare too, but yeah, I'm in the living room because this thing's huge. So we're doing it Ashens style on the couch. But um, yeah, this thing's rad. I've been wanting it for quite some time. And I've kind of been holding off. And if you look on eBay and if you look on Amazon and... Just uh, Googles and interwebs and stuff. There's a lot of different prices. Uh, some relatively cheap. Uh, some on some sites that I just I'm not sure. You know that I'd be a little kind of wary about going on certain sites or buying sites that I've never been on before. And um, and then I found one seller on eBay that had this sucker for 144, but they had a lot of bad feedback. So I've, I've gotten things from sellers that had a ton of crap feedback and lucked out and then sometimes been you know not screwed but i think i got from uh either china some uh i think figma figures or something that, that had, there's just a raw deal on one or two of those and so i just got my money back and they just never sent the right product or whatever is weird but anyways you got to watch out on ebay you got to watch out in general when you're buying online but um yeah i got this from walmart.com came in about a couple days yeah not too long but um and ship, you know, nice and safe. And, uh, yeah, without any further ado, I want to get into this thing and check it out. The box is really awesome. Got all the characters right there. Got a back diagram with uh, the whole castle itself. And then it's cool on this side, too. You've got uh, you've got pictures of all the, the vintage-style original backing art for all the characters that you get. Because you get E-Man, the goddess... Which is basically the green version of Teela, the mini comic version. Uh, Sorceress, Man at Arms, Skeletor, and Beast Man. And also, I think I was about six years old when this was originally released. I think it was '81 or '82. Can't remember. I keep forgetting. But um, but yeah, I saw the commercial when I was on vacation in Houston at my aunt's house, and um, and it just blew my mind. And then about a couple weeks later, I picked up my first figure. It was Skeletor at this store called Winds, and that just kicked everything off. And then later, I think that Christmas, I've got actual gray skull for Christmas. And throughout that year and a couple years, I kept picking up more and more figures here and there. You know, but it says back in the day, you know, your folks got your stuff. You didn't go out and get your own. But, yeah, never outgrew the hobby. But, um, oh, so you've got He-Man on one side. No, it's kind of hard to see. You can invest in some lamps for living room videos for sure. And Skeletor. Really nice. Really nice photos. But uh, let's go ahead and just see what we got inside because i'm curious i know there's other videos on this but i'm just doing this for my own archive and myself just to see what's up because there's already a ton of reviews but um oh wow more uh cool, cool, cool box art so that's rad you got the goddess falling down the trap door and skeletor bellowing or whatever laughing is she's stuck in the prison that's pretty cool I don't know if this sucker slides out or what. Hmm. I guess there's more to this box than meets the eye. Even though it's not a transformer. But let's see. Wow. It's really in there. And I don't want to destroy the box at all. So yeah. I'm trying to figure this thing out. Okay, cool. I think we're getting somewhere. Oh. Nice Masters of the Universe logo. There we go. Wow. Holy crap. This is like the biggest booklet I've ever seen for putting something like Lego-like or brick-like together. That is thick. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. I'm going to have to put this thing together when I go on vacation because that's just too... That's too much. I won't be able to... I would, if I did this in a day... I would have to start at four or five in the morning and just keep going and get a bunch of coffee and 
whatnot, but that's awesome. And then if you look right here, you got the vintage line art right there, which is sick. That is awesome. I really like that. The vintage line art, that's cool. That's real cool. And I can't wait for more Origins to come out. I know WonderCon's gonna happen soon. So yeah, you get different boxes with stuff. And I guess every box might be a different different part of the castle that you're gonna put together or Skeletor. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then you've got, good Lord, Sorceress or, and um, Man-at-Arms. It's one, two, and three. And then the number four box was Beast Man and uh, the Green Goddess or the green version of Tila, mini comic or whatever. But yeah, this is interesting. And I guess what you do is, is like, I guess they didn't want to glue these, or I guess these are glued down, so I'm just going to pop one open, see what's up in it, see what's inside. Wow, I guess they really want you to destroy this box, which I don't want to do, but I'm going to have to. I'll not destroy it, but I'll just cut into it with my dull box cutter. Yeah, and I guess each section, there you go. So yeah, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of pieces, a lot of greens, a lot of browns. Probably be like the, yeah, one side of the castle. Probably some elevator pieces in there maybe. I don't know. Like, but yeah, this is gonna be one heck of a build. My buddy, Chef Dan, he messaged me on Facebook after I posted a pic and he was like, man, I would love to help you build that if you just had the time, if we both had the time. And yeah, box number four, box number three. Wow, this is insane. Yeah, this is this would take quite some time. Oh, wait, I think you, what you can do is you can rip. I don't know what you can do, but... Okay, you can just rip it open. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Like I said, this wasn't like gonna be like a full scale review. I'm not gonna rip open every box, but I just had to see for myself what this was gonna entail. But yeah, it's, it's gonna be a lot of work it seems. And I'll probably wait in a couple weeks when I take some time off from work and throw this thing together. But yeah, that is the biggest instruction booklet I've ever seen as far as a brick toy goes. Wow, there's the front of Gray Skull. It comes with some cool little art too, right there. It's pretty rad. It's not, oh, sorry about that. That's cool. Whew. Whew, man, that's gonna be something else once this is built. But yeah, it's just my little unboxing and uh, wanna get a look and see what's going on with this uh, Mega Constructs Gray Skull. Whew. I'm sweating already just from opening this thing up. But yeah, hopefully soon I'll get this thing built. And once I get it built, I'll make a video on that. Because that would be fun just to do it anyways. Even though, like I said, there's other reviews up. But yeah. I don't know. The, art, the box is just awesome to look at it on its own. <laughs> it's really cool. And then this booklet. Like, it's insane. Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all. And uh, more videos definitely on the way tonight. All right. Later, y'all. Peace.